All right, now let's go to Izzy Bradburn and the National Artist Spotlight segment. Please welcome this week's National Spotlight artist. Her performance, Aurora Davis, part st starts right now. When the day is done and the lights go out When you're all alone and there's no one else around Track me down I'm Mia Kay, and you're watching Stream Stage Live. Yes, yes, that was absolutely amazing. Art Davis, thank you so much. Um, that song was called What You Love, and is that an original song? That is an original song, and, uh, song, and thanks for having me, by the way. Yes. It's lovely. <laughs> thank you, and tell us where you're calling from. I believe it's pretty late there, right? Yeah, I'm calling from uh, like a small village near Switzerland, near Zurich, Switzerland, and it's um, 
it's 10 past 3 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh well, God. thank you so, so much for that commitment to us. We really appreciate it. And thank you for sharing your song. That was absolutely amazing. Um, I'd like to introduce you to tonight's artist on our end, Baby Chimps. Baby Chimps or Davis. Hello, What's hello. Up? What yeah, a great you song. really kick ass, guys. Awesome. Thank you. Love it. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And thank you so much for joining us here in Switzerland at three in the morning. Goodness gracious. And to have those yeah, pipes. Yeah, rock and roll, man. To have those pipes <laughs> at three in the morning. Good good Lord, have mercy. Commitment Fantastic. to stream stage. I respect <laughs> it. I respect it. There we go. Well, neighbors probably hate me right now, but I'm, I'm done with that. It's, right. it's okay. It's okay, though. No, they probably woke up and they're like, "Oh my God, what's that beautiful sound? I need to, I need to <laughs> find where that is." Let, let me Shazam this real quick so yeah. I can <laughs> add it to the playlist. Yes. Yeah, it was probably like uh, one of those cartoon moments where they were lifted out of bed by the song Levitating. and just drawn to the music. <laughs> I love that. Really, thank I you so that. much for joining us and for you know I have to echo what Izzy and Matt what they said. Um, Thank you for committing to this at that time. You really do sound beautiful. Um, it was a really amazing song. Will you please tell us a little bit about that song? What's it about? Yeah, so um, I wrote this song, um, I would say almost four or five years ago, maybe. Um, and it's it was the first song that I wrote like completely in perspective of, of a person someone made up. I mean, um, it was... It started basically with a rumor about my uh, about my life. Um, I had people talk a lot of shit and strange, weird things about me. And um, at one point, I just sat down and said, like, OK, let me just let me explore that person they are making up. Um, if I if I were to be that person, what would I say? And then I just like, I don't know, it just it just sort of happened. I mean, you guys can relate when you when you when you have something that 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 really um, touches you and you really feel it sometimes it just happens so i think i wrote this song in probably 20 minutes or something like the whole story and everything wow. took 20 minutes wow that's incredible so or that's a that's amazing you know i was looking at your setting that you're in there with uh you got a nice microphone there and a cool looking guitar the whole thing really fits together i just love that song it it, it sounded almost like it sounded at first to me like it was the opposite of what you just described it as, which makes it really interesting lyrically, you know what I mean? And I just, I appreciate that so much when a when an artist can, you know, bring together a sound and it's got this sort of like blues feel to it, you know? And then you're able to spin the lyrics in a way where the song actually doesn't mean what I might've thought at first, you know? Yeah, totally. I mean, usually I write really from like experience. I mean, I write about things that actually happened and this was this was different so i really got to explore the character like as deeply as possible and so i think that's that's why it sounds like it's 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 a real thing but it's actually just like yeah it's just about i just brought the rumors to life i would say that's incredible stream stage live does this segment so that we can connect artists all over the world and all over the country and this is uh we're very fortunate to have found you um so thank you so much for being here and and also thank patrick for finding you um somehow i, I don't know how he's able to find everyone but we're always so lucky to get the people that he does find and we're very lucky to have had you thank the you feeling so is mutual man absolutely Thanks for having me absolutely stoked so let me ask you a question uh david do you have any questions for uh the baby chimps or any of the other artists that you see here izzy or any of them well i'm usually really interested in like knowing the the writing process of of a band i mean i'm, I'm a solo artist i write on my own mostly in the i really always want to know like how does a full as band does it i mean is it just one person coming up with lyrics is it just a guitarist and a vocalist who who, who start mumbling around or or how does that go for for you guys uh with yeah yeah that's a great question because with us sometimes it's kind of like a lennon mccartney approach where sometimes you know one of us will come in with a riff and one of us will come in with another song idea and then sometimes we'll collab two song ideas into one um i was with steven a couple months ago 
and we were talking about how much we loved uh, Smashing Pumpkins, how they were such a big influence on us. And um, Stephen started playing this riff that sounded like something that would be off like Siamese Dream. And then I just kind of came in with a little something, and, and you know, we, we both kind of looked at each other with that aha moment, you know. So, so yeah, it's, it's very collaborative, um, and that's, I think, what makes it great. Yeah, I totally agree cool. with Matt. Um, you know, he, he'll come with me to me with an idea or, you know, I'll go to him with an idea and, you know, we can make the song work. You know, for Days of Our Lives, he came to me with that riff and um, I knew immediately we had to, you know, complete that song. You know, I'd add some parts in, but, you know, I'm very excited with our writing process moving yeah. forward. It's really fun, and uh, we'll, you'll actually hear Days of Our Lives. Uh, we're closing out the set tonight with Days of Our Lives, which is our favorite song to play live. So Stay tuned. Okay. Can't wait. Can't wait. Yeah, that was a great question, and, you know, you're always always sharing on this platform of StreamStage with different artists, and we're connecting different artists, and I think it's really awesome that you shared your process of writing because, you know, that's something I think a lot of other people look at artists and they say, well, how were you able to do this? And a lot of them think it's such a complicated process sometimes, whereas, like you said, sometimes it's just taking what you feel and just writing it down, and it's as simple as that and can happen in 30 minutes or less yeah. um, so I really liked that that question you had for them too about the band and you know we're all just trying to kind of learn from each other and te teach up-and-coming artists to learn from each other as well um, and do you have any other questions for yeah Baby I, there, there's one question I usually ask everyone I meet because I'm just really curious about the answers um, if you guys could go back to your younger self let's say to your six-year-old use what advice would you give yourself? <laughs> Steven, I'm going to let you take this one first. Hey, you know, thank you for that. <laughs> um, you know, if I could go back to my six-year-old self, I would say start guitar now uh, because I didn't start till I was um, 16, actually. So, and, you know, that's considered late by a lot of uh, guitar players. So I would say probably start earlier. You know, I got my first guitar when I was nine, but I didn't pick it up. You know, I played a few few little notes here and there but i wasn't trying to learn it until i you know was 16 so you know i would say probably learn earlier and stick with it yeah and and you know i i would have to say something along the lines of that like um i took piano lessons growing up and i remember i always couldn't stand it i dreaded going to piano but um and you know i quit when i was 12 to, to start playing bass and it kind of let it kind of led to what i do now but my biggest regret, I tell my mom all the time, you know, I'm like, my biggest regret is not taking the piano lessons more seriously because I feel like it would have just enhanced, uh, you know, the music experience that I've had growing up. And if I had kept going on, because I started when I was like four, so uh, if I had just kept going on, I'd be like Mozart by now, probably. So <laughs> that's my biggest, that's my biggest thing I would tell six-year-old self. Stay in piano, take it seriously, practice, and uh, there you go. There you have it. But that's so amazing, and uh, you probably heard me do a little giggle when you asked that question because the irony, I swear, like we were talking about the stream stage multiverse because right. last week I asked the very same question, I believe, to either our, one of our connection callers um, or to the artists themselves because I think that's such an important question to talk about that because we all feel like we're not doing enough or yeah. we, we took yeah. a break and now we can't get back and that's what we need to hear from other people is just, you know, keep on going. So keep, keep going. doing what you're doing and, you know, speaking of what you're doing, do you have anything in the immediate future that we should know about that you want to share with our viewers yeah totally i mean um you previously have been talking about kickstarters and like i'm doing the very same thing right now um it's not called kickstarters here uh, around europe we have this thing called we make it it's basically the same it's everything is equal um and i'm trying to fund my debut album which um i will be recording in london at jbj recording studios which is quite quite amazing because um like the team i'm working with um like the producer is called jamie brown and um in those exact rooms that i stand every now and then um like skrillex was there before liam payne was there um wow. olivia rodrigo was there before me so like i'm standing in these exact same rooms working with the team like with the same team 
And that's just that's just incredibly insane. So right now I'm just trying to gather as much money as possible. Um, I need 13,000 Swiss francs, which equals almost the same amount in dollars, I guess, right now. Um, because half of it is already raised. Some I'm like I've got someone who really believes in what I do and decided to support me financially and mentally and like with connections and stuff like that. But yeah, so 13,000 are still open. And I think um, campaign started three days ago and right now we're at almost 5,000. So still a few bucks missing. Um, I mean, if anyone feels fancy to like contribute to my project and want to support me, um, there's links everywhere, like on my Instagram, on my website, on my Twitter, on my Facebook, like literally anywhere they let me insert a link. Wow. Aura, I just wanted to say thank you so much for being our caller. Um, we wish you the best of luck with that. And also, feel free to post that link into the uh, chat on Facebook or YouTube. That way people can see it and, uh, and go straight to it. I will absolutely do that. Awesome. Thank Thanks you so much. Thanks for having me. Thanks for the love and keep, keep rocking. Thank yes. you. Round of applause. Round of applause. Thank, thank you so you. much. 3.30 a.m. in Switzerland still came through. Love it. Love it. <laughs> All in.